Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 4 which is expansion and factorization of algebraic expressions and your book is D2 Maths and New Syllabus Mathematics 2. Okay, I'm going to explain the question number 9 of exercise 4b. Okay, so before starting the lecture, I will request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Okay, dear students, let's come to the lecture. Part A is 6p plus 5 and 5 minus 6p. And qu question is expand each of the following expressions. Basically, we need to expand them by using the formula. Okay, G. so students here, this is C6p plus 5. As you can see that both numbers are having plus sign. So we can write this like 5 plus 6p. We can write this as 5p, 5 plus 6p. See, it's 6p plus 5 and we can write this as 5p plus 6 and 5 minus 6 plus 3. I am go going to tell you that, that why did I change the position. Okay students, here we are going to use the formula and the formula is a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So here you can see the formula and the formula is a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Okay, students, as in the formula, it is a plus b. Here, this is a and this is a. So, these values must be same as 5 is a and 6p is b. So, over here, it must be a and then b. So, uh, that's why I have changed the position of these two numbers. We can only change the position in plus sign. And as both numbers are, are having plus sign, so that's why I have written them as 5p plus, 5 plus 6p. Okay, now this is the formula. You can see that a plus b, a minus b. And here you can see that formula is equal to a square minus b square. So we'll make them equal. a square minus b square. a plus b, a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now we are going to solve it. 5 square means that you have to multiply 5 two times. 5 fives are 25. 5 fives are 25 minus now take the square of 6 6 square means that you have to multiply 6 2 times 6 6 are 36 and take the square of p when you take the square of p you will get p square so 25 minus 6 p square is your answer okay students so i hope that uh, this question is clear to you now let's move forward to b part okay students so, uh, you can write this answer as minus 36 p square plus 25 you can write down this first so you can write down the variable and then you can write down the constant if you are not writing this answer as in this form then it's also right both forms are right you can write down the answer in this way and you can write down the answer in this way the purpose to write this is because in your book they have given you the answer first they have written the variable and then they have written the constant so that's why i also first i have written the variable and then i have written the constant constant if you're writing the answer in this way this is also right this is not wrong okay and if you're writing this answer in this way both uh, answers are right you can write down the answer in this way and you can write down the answer in this way okay students now let's come to b part okay students b part is 9r minus 4 by 5q and 9r plus 4 by 5q so again here you can see that this is a minus b and a plus b so the formula is equal to a square minus b square students here a is 9 r and b is 4 by 5 q so a minus b a plus b is equal to a square minus b square as in the formula you can see that these are equal to a square minus b square so 9 r square minus 4 by 5 q whole square now we will solve it first we will take the square of 9 9 square means that you have to multiply 9 two times 9 9 is 81 and when you will take the square of 4, you will get r square minus, now this is 4 and this is 5. Take the square of numerator first, for 4 is r 16. Take the square of 5, 5 square means that you have to multiply 5 two times, 5 fives are 25. Now take the square of variable which is q, when you will take the square of q, you will get q square. So 81 r square minus 16 over 25 q square, this is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Now let's move forward to C part. 
Okay, so C part is S over 2 plus T over 3 and T over 3 minus S over 3. Here, uh, this is A and this is B. This is A and this is B. But here the positions are changed. First, we need T over 3. So, we can change the position of this bracket because both numbers are having plus signs. So, we can write them as T over 3 plus S over 2. And the second bracket is T over 3 minus S over 2. So in this case, the A is T over 3 and B is S over 2. So A plus B minus B is equal to A square minus B square. A plus B, A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. Now we will take the square of numerator. When we will take the square of numerator, which is T, we will get T square. And denominator is 3. Take the square of denominator, which is 3. 3 threes are 9. Now take the square of numerator which is s. So when you take the square you will get s square and denominator is 2. When you take the square of 2 you will get 2 to the 4. Okay students in your book the answer is given as minus s square over. They have uh, written the answer in the alphabetical order because first s come then t come. So they have written the answer as minus s square over 4 plus t square over 9. If you are writing the answer in this way this is also right and you can write the answer in both ways. Both are right answers okay i hope that uh, this is clear to you now let's move forward the, to the last part of this question okay so this d part is u plus 2 u minus 2 and u square plus 4 okay here we are having three brackets first c first two brackets here here you can see that over here we can use the formula of a plus b a minus b a plus b a minus 2 a is u and b is 2 and write this number u square plus 4 as it is. Okay, you now apply the formula over here. a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Okay, you now write this as it is, which is u square plus 4. Okay, you now solve it. When we will take the square of u, we will get u square. And when we will take the square of 2, we will get 4. 2 twos are 4. So we are having u square minus 4 and write this as it is u square plus 4. Here students we can see that again we are having the formula a minus b a plus b. Here this is a u square is a and b is 4 a minus b a plus b. Again we will apply the formula a square a is u square. Huh? Students remember that a is not just u u square the whole number is the whole term is a which is u square so a square mean u square ka square, square u square into whole square so a square minus b square okay so whenever you're having the powers like this inside and outside so these powers are multiplying so multiply these powers to twos are four so you write like this so 2 twos are 4. So you will get u4 and minus 4 fours are 16. 4 square means you will multiply 4 two times. So you will get 16. 4 fours are 16. Okay, students. Again, I am explaining you that what I did in this sum. First, apply the formula in the first two bracket, and when you will solve it, you will get u square minus 4. And now you are having these two brackets. Again, you will apply the formula over here a square minus b square, and you will get a square minus b square will be u4 because the powers are multiplying to 2s are 4. u4 minus 16. u4 are 16. So this is your answer. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these sums and memorize the formula. When we will do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. And take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.